Hey guys, Lotus Moon here with another Mobius Final Fantasy video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about this um, Supreme Ultimate card we got. And um, they're the acquisition cards. But first, I just want to say um, sorry to my subscribers for not putting uh, any videos out for the past week. Um, it's not that I didn't make videos, it's just I had trouble uploading them and with the videos themselves. And I tried remaking them a few times, but uh, didn't have success with that. So I apologize for that. Um, I will be posting a few videos today, though. Uh, so check back on my channel if uh, you're interested in watching those. But I wanted to make this video first, um, guys, because of all the horror stories I've been reading on Reddit and online. Um, as you know, we just got this card, Minwoo. Um, and it's a supreme card. It's an ultimate card. And you don't need me to tell you that, of course, it's it's absolutely amazing and broken. Um, you know, it's 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 just it's just ridiculously strong. Um, but I would I would not I would not recommend you guys chase for this card. Um, I've been reading stories of people spending five, six, seven hundred dollars, and not you know just being disappointed. And that's kind of the reality of gacha summoning guys um i know a lot of people are complaining about the paywalls but honestly having to deal with extremely low percentage chance with gacha and rng is just it's just a nightmare um you know you just don't get anything for your money i mean it's just all it's just gambling you know and games games like this especially in japan you know, they make their profit off of people's gambling problems, and I, I never agree with that. Um, I don't really like gacha games, and that's why I will not be trying to summon for this card. Um, of course, I want this card, you know. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you will know that I have no problem spending money on this game. Um, I bought the legendary jobs, and, you know, I feel like just from reading online, a lot of people are... Um, looking at the paywall as a lot more favorably because you know yeah seventy five dollars it's it's overpriced for a legend job but at least you know what you're getting and at least you know um, you still have your magic site to spend afterwards and it it really wasn't a bad system guys I mean I I think people are starting to realize that more now um, like I said gacha is, is just it's a nightmare I mean you could you can spend all your money. And if you have a gambling problem, I really hope you guys can uh, control yourselves. I don't want you guys to be disappointed and quit the game and get upset. And it's very easy. I mean, like I said, I've, I've read so many terrible stories online. I, I really feel sorry for those guys. Um, me, you know, I'm not really a whale. I'm more of like, like a dolphin, I guess you could say, as people call it. Um, I do buy Magicite for this game, like I said, but... Um, when it comes to gacha rolling, I, you know, I just can't do it. It's just, it's just not worth it. And there will be other, there will be other times to get this card, guys. Um, if you don't know, this is just one of a few Supreme cards that will be released for this game. Uh, there will be other Supreme cards coming. Of course, you already know about Minwoo. Uh, but there's going to be also Neo X Death for, um, for Rogues. Um, this Ziza, um, I believe it's for Warriors. Um, maybe it's for maybe it's for their class, but also this other one, uh, Duncan. These are all supreme cards, and they're all extremely powerful. Um, we will be getting these probably in a similar fashion to Minwoo, but I believe once they re keep releasing more of these supreme cards, um, they'll probably bring back the chance to get the other past supreme cards. Like I highly doubt this will be the only opportunity to get Minwoo. Um, like I said, I believe as they keep releasing more supreme cards they will bring back the chance to also get past supreme cards um of course they're all going to be low percentage to get them but at least um you know the more they release the higher probability of you at least getting one of them so uh i'm definitely going to be skipping out on trying to roll deep for minwoo i mean it makes me kind of sad you know i i really like this game and you know i really like to have the best cards but in this case, guys, it's, you know, please just, it's, it's just a nightmare. R, you know, RNG is just, it's a nightmare with the gacha. Um, anyway, but that's about enough about that. 
Um, I hope you guys are having good luck with your rolls. Now, about the early acquisition cards, um, we got a great lineup, guys. I'm extremely excited for this Knights of the Round. It's a card I've been waiting for for them to release in Global for a while, since the beginning, basically. Because this card is forever going to be good. Um, I believe it's still rated 96 of 100 in Japan. And rightly so. I mean, this card is amazing. Um, now, it's early acquisition. So you know what that means. Um, you can only get it through summoning. But um, eventually, it will make its way to the ability shop. Most likely for the higher um, higher ability card count for um, you know the 43 ability cards but still um, it's up to you guys if you want to try rolling for it now or if you want to wait if you're a free to play player I would just say wait until it goes to the ability shop honestly um, and if you're looking for early acquisition cards uh, guys really the best way to get them is through the three star summoning or the four star summoning if you have more magicite. Um, the reason why is because this greater this greater summon, yes, you get six cards, but it actually has a worse. Um, you're actually least a more, um, not as likely to get an early acquisition. Um, I mean, yeah, you you can definitely get them. Um, I've seen people get lucky and get them within a couple rolls of a uh, the greater summon, but um, with the three star and four star summon. As you can see here, it says um, draw times four for a new guaranteed card. So if you have your um, ability shop already completely bought out, like my ability shop, um, I bought out everything. So I own all the cards except for the, um, the ones that they marked up at 43 ability tickets for whatever reason. So when you roll four times, you're guaranteed a new card. So if there's no more cards to get here, at least you'll get a new card. Um, as far as, you know, these 43 ability ticket ones, if I get that one as my, you know, new card, I don't mind as much. At least I didn't have to spend all those ability tickets. Um, same thing for the brand new ones. They're charging 33 tickets for these because they are very good. Um, you know, they're the new light and dark area and single target attacks. These are all really good cards. Um, um, I would stay away from the cone ones. I think I think there's a few cone, yeah, a cone light attack. I don't know, cones are just not that great. But um, it's up to you guys if you want to get these um, area attack and single target light and dark. Um, I wouldn't really bother them at the moment unless you have one of the new jobs that actually has light and dark. Otherwise, I mean, you won't be able to use them. So if you're planning to use one of the new jobs that just came out, um, then yeah, you know, these are great cards, uh, kind of pricey with the 33 tickets, but they are good. Um, but yeah, so back about the summoning. Um, I've actually heard some stories of people spending hundreds of dollars on the greater summon here and not getting Knights of the Round. And that's just because, like I said, the chance of getting an early acquisition card is not, it's not guaranteed at all. Um, you're just getting six random cards, which you may or may not have. And you might get to the point where you're just pulling greater summons and just getting basically all duplicates, which is extremely frustrating. So if you guys are looking for um, or, like more guaranteed early acquisition cards, buy out your ability shop. And then try for these um, guaranteed after f guaranteed new card after four rolls. Um, it's still a lot of uh, tickets, but um, at least at least you know you're gonna get something good after a few rolls, especially for this three star summon. But um, anyway, I hope you guys are having great luck with it. Um, and that's really all I want to talk about in this video. Um, you know, all the cards they released us are fantastic. Um, I'm actually really surprised we got some of them already this early in the in the game really but uh, we are at chapter four now so um, we are getting better uh, better and better cards so um, good luck guys with your rolling um, and this has been Lotus Moon and I'll see you next video um, I'll be talking about these um, these new jobs we got next video so I'll see you guys soon